Uh, here we are again, we're gonna continue talking about biodiesel and we're actually gonna address some of these issues. So Dan, what are some of these issues present with biodiesel? Well, one of the biggest things is it's very hydroscopic. Hydroscopic. Hydros... How do you say that word? <laughs> one of the biggest things is very hydroscopic, which basically means it's a magnetic sponge absorbing water. Biodiesel absorb 15 to 25 times more water than diesel fuel. Given the right conditions, this can happen in just one day. Why is biodiesel more hydroscopic than biodiesel anyway? Why is biodiesel more hydroscopic than biodiesel? That's a very good question. The difference is really at the molecular level. Biodiesel molecules are polar and ultra low sulfur diesel is not polar. And I'm not sure what's a good analogy, but I think biodiesel having electrical charge and water conducts electricity. They naturally attract and bond to one another. Why is water so bad in fuel? Water is the root cause of pretty much all fuel issues. Water and fuel creates an environment that allows microbes and bacterium to flourish. These organisms will consume about 1% of the fuel while destroying the rest. Water wreaks havoc on engine fuel injection systems, especially the newer tier four engines with much higher injection pressures. The water vaporizes to steam and ruins the injector tips. So if there's some water in my fuel, my water separators will take care of that. I put those on already. Yes and no. It's very important to have a fuel water separator that efficiently removes water and has a high water holding capacity. The issue with biodiesel is that because it is molecularly bonded, just using a fuel water separator isn't going to get all of the water out. SAE J1488 provides some guidance on this. I don't have biodiesel in my fuel because I buy diesel fuel, not biodiesel, right? I wish that was the case. About 90% of the states within the US have biodiesel mandates or incentives, and B5 and less does not have to be communicated to the customer. So basically I could have biodiesel in my fuel. I would be clueless about this because they're not telling me about it. Yeah, it's a bunch of BS, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long is my biodiesel good for now that it's in my tank? Could be as short as three months, but fuel suppliers say less than a year. Really is a question of what condition your fuel is stored in and how long do you store it? So are other renewable fuels other than biodiesel, do they have these same issues? Well, other fuels are a little different than biodiesel. Some of them take on similar properties as biodiesel and others don't. The main thing is to know what is in your fuel. Get it tested on a consistent basis. We hope you have enjoyed this installment on biodiesel. If there's any portion that you want to hear more on, let us know. We want your help. help it. Hydroscopic. Hydros... How do you say that word? <laughs> Hydro, like water, Hydro. and scopic. Scopic. It doesn't look like that when you read it. It's not my <laughs> issue, you wrote right. it.